I was talking about polymers. Uh, polymers are long chain molecules and they're very, very interesting. The sheer length of them gives them interesting properties. And it was a kind of festive feel. There's a polymer called sodium polyacrylate that, uh, that is super absorbent. Uh, and it comes in a certain form, uh, which is called instant snow or magic snow. So I was creating snow on stage. Uh, I, kind of, I do demos, so I had a, a handful of demos relating to polymers. This is a, a sort of model of a, of a polymer to illustrate that when you have something very long, it can behave in, in an unusual way. Uh, and so imagine each one of these uh, beads is like a, a, one of the smaller molecules of a, of a, a polymer chained together. There's about 8,000 in here. Polymers are sort of tens of thousands. Uh, and if I sort of tip the chain out, it should sort of carry on going like that, see. <laughs> there's a couple of things I want to build. I mean, this isn't without any budget, but I'll just, you know. Um, there's a, something called an Euler disc. Uh, actually, nothing to do with Euler at all. They just named it that. It's like a marketing thing. It's a big metal disc, a steel disc. It's about that big. And there's a sort of curved mirror, and you, and you spin it in the same way you spin a coin. If you spin a coin, it probably lasts for about 20 seconds or something like that. When you spin this thing, uh, it just goes for minutes and minutes, and it's really freaky. It's a really sort of weird thing and, and, and uh, crazy. Uh, and I can't find a good explanation of why it lasts for so long compared to a coin. Uh, I think it's to do with uh, some sort of scale variance of various properties. So uh, uh, as you scale up from a coin, you're increasing the surface area by a factor of squared, but you're increasing the, um, the momentum uh, or the angular momentum by a factor of cubed because the mass is, is, is going up by a factor of cubed. I think it's to do with that. So I want to get a giant steel disc, which I have, but anything that I spin it on breaks the thing. And it, it all has to be really smooth, so I need to find someone to machine this thing. And uh, I think that you get, there's the, there, there are these uh, concrete um, dishes that, that uh, live on the coast and they're incredible, they're like satellite dishes and, and if you put your head at the focal point of these uh, giant uh, concrete dishes you can listen out for uh, enemy ships, they're, they're amazing and I've not seen one yet but I think if it's smooth enough I might be able to spin my disc on that and it, and it might work so one day I'll make that experiment. Do you know what? Uh, touch screens because uh, it, it pains me to say it, but the, the BlackBerry operating system, I'm really getting geeky now. The BlackBerry operating system is dreadful, but I love the keyboard. I love the tactile feedback. You know, there's, we've got this thing called motor memory so that uh, you don't have to think, which is why we'll become good typers. But with a touch screen, you don't get that tactile feedback to let you know you're going wrong. So it's a constant feedback between your vision and, and your touching. So, uh, I, yes, I wish uh, that, uh, you know, either Android would, would buy BlackBerry or something like that, but just the touchscreen, ah, touchscreen keyboards, uninvented.